Hello everyone. Welcome back. In this video, we are going to be looking at the solution for question 10 of the January 2024 CSEC Mathematics Paper 2. We begin with part A, a vectors question, in which it says in the diagram below, O is the origin and OE is equal to 2 times EF. M is the midpoint of EG and OG is equal to C so we can just go ahead and write that in from now OG is equal to C and OF is equal to all of that is equal to D so first up we are asked to find FG now FG is here so if we want to get from F to G um, assuming that you can't go directly there then we need to find another route and the other route is to say okay to get from F to G we can go F to O and then go from O to G kind of like you're traveling and you need to get from one place to another and you have to take an alternate route so to get from F to G is the same as going from F to O and then O to G now notice that the vector here the vector OF is given in terms of this direction and we want to use the vector in the opposite direction which means that we need to change the sign of the component here so OF is equal to D we want FO so we write it as minus D and plus OG OG is equal to C it's going in the direction that we want and so that's a plus C and that's your answer there some persons prefer to turn it the other way around to say put the positive one in front to say C minus D but that's the same thing just a matter of personal preference but there's the answer FG is equal to FO plus OG alright let's move to the next part in the next part it says calculate EG and EG is here so if we want to get from E to G getting from E to G we can take two routes we can go this direction EF and then FG since we found FG um, a while ago FG C minus D or minus D plus C um, let me just write that down minus D plus C if we want to find EG like I said we could go EF and then go DG FG rather or go EO plus OG either way we'll get there I'm just going to write down um, this one EO plus OG now we need to deal with what is mentioned here now in terms of the the information given here OE is twice as long as as um, EF so this part of the line is twice as long as that part meaning that the line is cut into three this line which has the, the component D in that direction is cut into three which means that this part is one third of the line so it's one third D and right here is two third D so we can split it up that way now to get from E to G we can go E to F and F to G or we can go let me just write down the other one E to F E to F and then F to G so let's work out both of them all right EG is equal to EF plus FG so here we have one third D that's EF plus C minus D now we can put these over one and have them in fraction form so we multiply have a LCM there of 3 so this gives us D plus 3C plus not plus that's a minus minus 3D and there we have minus 3D plus D here is a minus 2D so our answer here becomes 3c write that one first and then minus 2d all of that over 3 if we do the other route which is to say um, 
EO plus OG, then EO would be in the opposite direction, so that would be a minus two thirds D plus OG, which is equal to um, OG, which is equal to C. And here we can simplify this again. The LCM here is 3. This gives us a minus 2D and plus 1 into 3, 3 plus 3C. Three so it's the same thing. Writing it another way, we see that it's 3C minus 2D over 3. So whichever route you take, and that's one of the, one of the beautiful things about vectors, whatever route you take, um, it will amount to the same answer as long as you, you pursue it correctly. All right, so let's uh, take a look on the other part of the question. Um, we want OM. So OM is here. We want this part of the line, OM. Now, how do we get from O to M? Uh, multiple routes again, but I'm going to take the, the route here. To get from O to M, multiple routes, like I said, to get from O to M, can't go there directly. Let's take an alternate route. We can go OE and then go EM. All right. OE and then EM. Now we found EG just now. What was EG equal to? EG was equal to 3C minus 2D over 3. So let's write that down. EG is equal to 3C minus 2D over 3. That's important because we need that. And this part of the line was 2 thirds D and this part was 1 third D. All right, we have what we need. So to get from O to M, given that you can't access it directly, the alternate route or the easier alternate route would be O to E and then E to M, which means two thirds of D going in that direction, since the vector is defined in that direction, plus a half of EG. I'm just going to write that in a moment. So two-thirds of D plus a half of EG and EG is equal to EG is equal to 3C minus 2D over 3. Um, let's just tidy this up. So this gives us 2D over 3 plus 3C minus 2D over 6. So we can just double this denominator here by multiplying this one by 2. So we can get both of them to have the same denominator, which gives us here um, 2 times 2. That's 4D over 6 plus 3C minus 2D over 6. And that gives us um, 3C plus 2D over 6 and that is OM again there are other routes you could come you could go this way and that way and it would still give you the same answer but it's just easier right now to go OE plus EM so we have done we have done FG we have done EM and now we did um, OM continuing that's the end of the vectors part um, matrices given PQ and R are matrices and some information is given P plus Q is equal to R um, and we have to find the values of A, B and C so these matrices are all the same size which makes it easier so P plus Q e equal to R let's just write them down this is P which is 3, negative 9 A 7 p plus q negative 1 b negative 4 1 is equal to r which is c negative 3 negative 4 8 
So P plus Q equal R. Now, when we're adding matrices, we look at the positions. So it's similar positions. So notice here that um, 7 plus 1 is equal to 8 in that similar position there. So that's the idea of what we use to solve these things, to solve these kind of matrix equations. So similarly, in this position C, we have that 3 plus negative 1 is equal to C. That means 3 minus 1 is equal to C. And of course, that means C is equal to 2. Next, we have a, A in that position, minus 4 or plus negative 4 is equal to negative 4, which means A is equal to negative 4 plus 4, and that, of course, is 0. So we have done that one too. And the last one, B, so a negative 9 there, this, this position here, if I just circle them to highlight it, negative 9, B, and negative 3. So negative 9 plus B is equal to negative 3. Rearranging this equation, we have that B is equal to negative 3 plus 9. And therefore, B is equal to 6. So we have found our values of A, B, and C. Moving on, here we have a system of simultaneous equations, and it says solve the following pairs of equations using a matrix method. This is important because there's more than one matrix method that we can employ. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using the inverse matrix since it is used in other things. Um, CXE, there is another method which is Kramer's rule, which is probably easier but um, not really taught that much at C6, so let's go do inverse matrix. First, we need to write this matrix in equation form. So we have 5, negative 2, 2, 3, and of course multiplied by xy gives us 44 and 10. So once you write it in matrix form, it's the matrix form is AX equal B. Once you've written it in that form, then we need to find the, find the inverse of this. To find the inverse, first we find the, the determinant. Determinant is equal to 3 times 5 minus 2 times negative 2. 3 times 5 minus 2 times negative 2, which gives us 15 plus 4, which is 19. And so our inverse matrix is going to be 1 over 19 multiplied by the adjoint matrix, which is to switch up this matrix. We switch these two. That becomes 3 there. The 5 goes down there. This negative 2 becomes positive 2. And that positive 2 becomes negative 2. And usually you can just leave it like that. But because we're going to be using it, it makes better sense to integrate that fraction inside by just writing everything over 19, um, negative 2 over 19, and 5 over 19. Now to solve our equation, um, all that we need to do is to say, okay, x, y is equal to the inverse matrix, which is 3 over 19, 2 over 19, negative 2 over 19, and 5 over 19, multiply that by 44, 10. And of course, remember when you're multiplying matrices, it's row by column. So it's 3 times 44 there. 3 times 44, that's 3 fourths 12. 3 fourths 12 and 113, that's 132 plus 20. All of that over 19. And in the next row, negative 88 plus 50, all of that over 19. And that gives us from here 152 
over 19 and negative 38 over 19 and of course doing this division here gives us a negative 2 and punching this in your calculator or otherwise gives you 8 and um, those are the solutions so x is equal to 8 and y is equal to negative 2 and we have solved our, our simultaneous system by using a matrix method in this instance we use the inverse matrix like i said there's another method um, kramer's rule that we could use to work this out by using just the determinants but that's for another time um, that brings us to the end of our question thank you very much for watching and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so before you go of course as usual if you know somebody who needs help with these kind of things then please give them a referral to the channel all the best as you continue to study and good luck in your exams